Stav, we're here at the start of the European Championship 2011 in Boltenhagen. Uh, we've had the childhood race today. Um, first of all, welcome to the event. Who have you got with you today? Well, it's, a, it's, quite, it's quite a day today because although it's the practice race, we all see what happens today on the water with uh, all the superstars arriving. And I've actually got Maria today with me, who's the daughter of Igor, who won the race today in Russia 90. Fantastic. And uh, I'm not going to pronounce, I'm going to let Maria pronounce uh, Dmitri's name. Dmitri. Okay, this is Dmitri Biroskin. Okay. Now, Dmitri has been uh, sailing with Igor, the owner, um, for a couple of years now. This boat, uh, Russia 90, she's a, a new pedicro last year, I think. New last year? Yes. Yes. And um, from what I can remember in, in uh, Hungary, you were number two. Yes. Yes. So it's a, it's a lovely, beautiful pedicure with a wooden teak deck. And uh, Maria's going to help me a little bit if there's a problem with the translation. <laughs> because um, I've asked Dimitri to help us uh, talk through today uh, basically how they won the race. So, Dimitri, can you help us? Please. Okay. Yeah. Um, he said it's very easy to win. My command работал очень хорошо. His crew worked very well. Мы взяли очень плохой старт. Very bad start. Oh. Но шли к победе очень уверенно, знали, что мы победим, и мы победили. Confident to win and oh. then. Okay. <laughs> now I tell you what I did see is that um, uh, you can always pick these guys out because they got a black spinnaker. That's right, isn't it? It's a black, it's a, a black spinnaker. And uh, when the course, uh, we did the full two mile beat to start with, and the left hand side seemed to be paying quite handsomely. And uh, I think, what number did you go around the first mark? Four. Number four. four yeah. And then after the full run down, the committee decided, because it was a practice race, and they had lots of things going on after, to shorten the second beat. And so what happened then, a lot of people got a little bit uh, too far out to the left, and uh, Dimitri, as the tactician, saw the windward mark being a lot shorter and took full advantage, and the, so they went around the boy number one. Yes, is that right? Okay. And then on the run down, you, which boy did you go around in, in the bottom? Ask him which boy you went around. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I think I think actually what happened was you took the um, you took the right hand boy, the right one, because it was then a very short beat to the finish. Okay, okay, go on, whatever. We have, you know, it, it just proves it's live, folks. And they took, uh, and then it was it was a protecting your lead to the finish. And uh, who was the closest to you, uh, Anatoly? Who was the closest? Vitor. Швейцарец триста седьмой. Швейцарланд триста. Oh yeah. And in fact, in fact, uh, they didn't know it, but that was Uli Lieber, the organizer of the event, Swiss uh, 307, and he was OCS. So in ah. fact, they had a much big, bigger cushion than they realized. Right. But anyway, what we'll say is, I want to thank you, Maria, You're and congratulations, uh, um, Dimitri, <laughs> and please pass on my best wishes to your father. Okay. He sailed very well today. And uh, tomorrow, uh, it's going to be uh, one race, the actual European start, one race tomorrow, uh, 12 o'clock start, and uh, we'll fill everybody in on uh, what happens uh, after the race tomorrow. Great. Do we know what the forecast is for tomorrow's staff? That's a good question. Have you got a forecast tomorrow? Uh, no, don't know. I have a forecast for Tuesday. What's that then? My mom said that it's going to be a nice day on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be a nice day on Tuesday, so then we look forward to that. Thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Bye -bye. Maria. Thanks, Dimitri.